Hey everyone, the David S. P. here, bringing you luxury, fashion, and lifestyle related content. If you like these types of videos, go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. Join the fam over here on YouTube. Today we're going to be going over the Fendi Spring Summer 2021 Vertigo Collection. We're going to get into all those details, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. So I obviously don't have the entire collection with me to show you guys. I would love that, but not there yet by any means. So I have my phone. And I'm on the Fendi website. We're going to be going through that. I also have an unboxing from the collection towards the end of this video. So, uh, you know, hang tight. As far as the women's collection goes, women's has more than men's to offer. And the Fendi Vertigo collection was in collaboration with Sarah Coleman, which is a New York-based artist. And I've been following her for a couple years now, and I just think she's super creative in her work. So when I saw that Fendi announced this collaboration, I thought it was going to be a hit. And it sure was. So as far as women's concerns, we have this first one is a mini sunshine shopper. Cute little bag. It's made out of like that straw crochet material. We have another uh, tote-like looking one, a dress with all the warped FFs all over the place, which I am really a fan of. I think they did this collection really good with the warped double Fs uh, going on for Fendi. And in addition to that, I love the colors. The yellow and then like corally blue. Perfect. It just screams summertime. I will say this collection is very summer specific, with the exception of a few items, of course. Um, only because of the colors and the styles as well. I don't think anyone's going to be wearing yellow shorts in the uh, winter, but by all means, if you want to. So moving on, we have the regular sunglasses, I guess. This camera, I did see this camera online and I wanted it instantly, but $980 for a, cam a Polaroid camera. Like, I get you're paying for the name, you're paying for Fendi, that whole experience, but for $980, I better get a lifetime of photos out of this, which is just crazy. We have another set here. I love this fitness set. I do think that this set is, you know, a cute set just to have, you know, why not? $750, it's not terrible, um, but also not the cheapest as well. We have this medium peekaboo which i personally love the peekaboo style i just think it's very expensive for what it is um this one they wrapped it in the yellow double f uh warped logo it's nice i mean it's it's nice but for six thousand dollars absolutely not never never would i pay six thousand dollars for that one of the highlights from this collection is actually this baguette and i'm really a fan of this baguette only because it has that double F warp logo in there, but also it, it gives me some type of classic energy, sort of saying, and I think it's the brown. I think it's the brown leather. I think they did this one really, really good. I hate, I hate that canvas strap. I wish it was just a solid color instead of that split color moment that they have going on, but you know, that's just me nitpicking. But overall, I think this bag is a 10 out of 10. We're looking at $29.50. Normal price of a baguette, I do think the baguette is a little overpriced only because it's made out of canvas and it's it's a felt. It's not even a coated canvas or anything. If I were to buy a baguette, I would prefer it to be all leather, but I also want the classic brown and black um, Fendi print as well, and they don't make that, unfortunately, yet. Moving along, we have a great bikini here, 620. We have some slides, we have a watch. I'm not really a big fan of this watch right here. And as we move along, we have a hat, a bucket bag. I'm personally not a fan of bucket bags, but it's cute. It's Fendi. Where I'm gonna let it slide. We have another one piece. <gasps> what is this? We have a food carrier. Now this I have not seen because the day that this collection launched, best believe I was the first person on this website just to check out the whole thing. This is so cute. I like little weird and quirky things, especially lifestyle type of things as well, not just only clothes, shoes, bags. So I think this is so cute. $340 
is pushing it, don't get me wrong, but I do think this is so cute. Imagine like a little picnic with this, wow. Next we have the shopper tote as well. I like the shopper totes, I just think they're a little plain, although they, they have a lot going on with this print, the color and everything. I do think it's a very practical bag uh, for every day, for travel, you know, and all those essentials. They, it comes in blue as well. And personally, just for me, it's, it's kind of a little boring. I'm boring for $2,100, I guess, you know, it can make a good beach bag, but for me, it's, I'm not going to go out of my way to pay $2,100 plus tax on a simple tote like this. I think there are better options out there. Personally, that's just me. As we move along, we have another, the mini sunshine shopper. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Some slides, again with the shopper tote, the peekaboo phone holder. I don't see the purpose of this, but whatever. This pajama set, I saw this pajama set on Instagram and a man was wearing it and wow, 10 out of 10. I just knew that, wow, I wanted this pajama set, but $22.90, yeah, I get it silk and all, so, but still, too expensive. We have a friendship bracelet. All right, it's giving me very Dior friendship bracelet vibes. Another medium peekaboo. This hat is super cute. Um, this crochet hat, I think it's great for the summertime. Another bikini. I personally like this bikini in the blue rather than the yellow. Depending on your skin tone, I feel like you could get away with either or. More eyewear. I wish they did some cool Fendi FF vertigo print side sunglasses i think those have been so cool but listen i'm not on the creative team and all right we have a bath a bathrobe hold on all right so we're paying 980 dollars for this white bathrobe that looks like we've got it from a very luxe hotel and I could barely see the FFs in here. I just, no, 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 no. I would rather go for the Versace one. It's very loud. It's $5.95, I believe. Um, and I think it's just more worth it. But bathrobe, no. Hair ties. I don't know why we need designer hair ties, but I guess a flex is a flex at the end of the day. We have a beach towel, which is okay. Now, another standout of mine is this 1997 baguette. So the baguette came out and during my birth year, which is 1997. And I've been eyeing these on the pre-loved market for, I wanna say quite some time now, only because I wanna get a bag just because it came out during the year that I was born. So I think that'd be a cute addition into my collection. Um, and I do like the 1997 original style of the baguette over the new one, the re-edition, slightly, um, only because it's just such a classic. Uh, it's such a classic shape. This one, they did it with the blue FFs all over the place. And yeah, it does come in yellow as well. Um, and I just think it's it's easy. It's simple. You know, it gets the job done. This one, though, does not come with the additional strap like the re-edition comes. Ooh, and I like this pink interior. It's so cute. 10 out of 10 for summer, 10 out of 10. We have more hats, more friendship bracelets, and we have a dress here as well. I've seen a lot of girls on Instagram wear this dress as well. Think it's super cute. I guess it's priced well at 1200 bucks. Um, we have a signature necklace, can't be bothered. Another canvas bag, swimsuit, a nano baguette charm. I personally do not like these baguette charms only because I think they're super tiny. Like they fit literally in like this, the palm of my hand. It's crazy. Personally, it's just, I think it's a waste. So moving on to the men's collection, I personally think that there was more thought that went into the women's collection opposed to the men's collection since we didn't get that many styles here but I do think there are some standouts. We first have this baguette pouch, and let's pause it for a moment. I think designer pouches, opposed to the bags, the classic bags, I don't know why I'm not a fan of. I know Dior does this with their saddle bag, they have the men's saddle, and then they also have like a saddle pouch. I think it's just, 
such a waste. Like, I mean, I get it's supposed to be cheaper than the actual bag itself, but just, I would rather save up a couple more months or, or you know, however long it takes me to save for a specific bag instead of just, you know, getting the pouch version of it. It's just kind of a cop out for me, but that's just me personally. Uh, this shirt, love it, love it. I feel like this is great for the summertime. We have this vintage camera again, we saw that. Another watch here, mm, don't really care about the watch. This hat, super cute, super cute. Uh, we got sandals, these sandals are just not my favorite, not my style, I think that's what it is. We've got swim shorts, which I think these the swim bottoms are just amazing. Uh, I would wear this through and through all summer. Uh, we have a flat baguette, which is weird. Uh, this is actually giving me a headache looking at this and I don't like this at all. I think it's just the color, the shape, the size. It's a little weird. I just, I hate how they made the FF so tiny in there. So I'm going to have to give it, give this one a hard pass. We have this like knitted top. It's cute. We've seen the FFs all over the place. This flat pouch is wow. This is a trip. Like this print, with the FFs much smaller, it just looks crazy in my opinion. It's just like, it's like tripping me out just even looking at it. The sneakers, they're all right. They give me Dior vibes as well. We have this shopping bag. I do like the shopping bag because it reminds me of uh, this other Gucci one that I saw a couple years ago. Um, so I like this one. This shirt, once again, this is the classic brown and black uh, Fendi and I just give it a 10 out of 10. Love that one. These Bermuda shorts for $790. They're really plain and really basic. So passing sneakers. I want to like these, but I don't. I'll just say that. We have this cute little horizontal box. Oh, I haven't seen this. I feel like they've been adding more things little by little like as the collection came out and i don't know how i feel about that but i do like this little box i just think it's a little long per se it gives me like a sunglass holder vibe but i do like this i i will say i do like this and i like that it's leather as well these fendi sunglasses great the sweatshirt mm, i like this i like this sweatshirt but i do think the color for it to be a sweatshirt it's, you know, we don't wear sweatshirts in the summertime, really, here in New York, but I guess in the in the winter time this would go, but also, again, the color. The color would mix up. These slides, I have these slides in just a classic blue. Love it. 10 out of 10. No complaints. We have, and, oh, we have this shopper. Now, this shopper, I love. It's significantly more expensive. It's $33.90 here on the site. But I love this one. It gives me all the pop that I needed. It's leather. It has all the weird colors in there. Honestly, 10 out of 10 with this one. They really hit the ball out of the park with this one. I love this one. And if I had $3,400 just lying around, you know. We have this blue shirt again. Same simple style in the blue. We have this vertical box. I do think this vertical box is cute. I remember they came out with, I believe it was last season, with the shopping tote version of this box. And I loved it then, loved it now in this new print. Uh, more swimming shorts, really good print. I think this is just a classic uh, Fendi print, just tossed here in this collection. Like, come on, let's sell, sell, sell. A nice jumper. We have a bracelet. <sighs> this bracelet is why? $430 for this. Just why? The drawstring backpack is cute. Like, I just don't like drawstring bags just to begin with. I think they're just so uncomfortable to get in and out of. Um, we have some more of those ugly sandals. This t-shirt. Oh, I love this t-shirt. I saw this on Instagram as well. And I just think it's like a plain white tee with the FFs there as a pop. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 with that one. I love it. This bucket hat is super cute as well. We have more swim shorts, the baguette pouch, this other shirt, which is all right. We have a beach towel as well. Uh, we have some slides. Oh, and that is it. I do think there were more pieces, uh, but I just think they're sold out online. And this 
is part of the men's collection. It's not on their website right now, only because it's probably sold out online, so they probably just removed it off there. But of course I have it here to unbox. I have been going back and forth for a couple weeks now in regards to this purchase, and I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not, only because I tried looking at some more pictures online, and it just came in the mail, by the way. So, you know, we're gonna unbox together. I haven't peeked inside this box whatsoever. I just got this in the mail. I ordered it about a couple days ago. And the backstory behind this bag is, so I've been wanting a baguette for the longest time. I just can't justify spending about $3,200 on a canvas bag. It's just, I get it's Fendi, it's a classic, but I also, you know, just wasn't ready to spend that amount. But this bag, I found it online, a little cheaper than retail, and I figured that if I've ever wanted this bag, now is the time. I found, this bag retails for about $3,100, and I found it for about $2,100 on Coltori Boutique, which I'll link down below as well. Here we go, Coltori Boutique, and we got the Coltori right here. And let's see, let's open her up. And I'm so excited. Fendi right here. So one pointer already is that when designers do special collaborations, they usually tend to switch up the packaging as well. And Fendi didn't do this one justice, unfortunately. And <gasps> wow you are bigger than what I anticipated so here we go here we go so this is the men's Fendi large baguette they call it here we go there's the FF's here the FF's all back here the sides have like this bungee cord looking tie over here and when we open her up, so I've never seen this bag in person. I, of course, have seen the baguette in person, uh, the 1997 one and the reissue as well. But this one I saw online and I was debating it for quite some time because I do like the mesh. I do like the FFs all over the place. But I don't know. Something about the size is just a little weird to me. It's just really big, really like, ugh, I don't this might be one of those purchases where I'm like, eh, about like iffy. Ooh, this strap is so cool. So this is the shorter strap that it comes with. It is leather on the inside and it has this just material here, like this cord woven throughout the strap. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna attach this onto the back here. Here she is for a little top handle moment. And this does have a pocket here in the back as well, and it's magnetic, so it just right there. In addition to the small strap, we also have a larger strap as well. And ooh, the, I thought the larger strap was gonna be a little bit more boring, and to be honest, it is a little bit more boring. Um, it's just this like canvassy material here, and then it has this leather portion and it has uh, that same bungee cord just running through it again this though has the Fendi wording print going through it I wish this strap was adjustable because this is just all it goes so I'm gonna attach this one as well I I don't know to be honest if I'm gonna keep this bag what I'm gonna do with it only because it's just as far as first impressions I'm just you know I'm a little weirded out only because it's so large and usually my bags are much smaller. I get this is a men's bag, but sometimes women's bags tend to be larger than men's, but this is giving me very messenger bag type of vibes and I've never been a fan of messenger bags. So here she is. Let me stand up so you can see it on the body. Here we have it cross bodied and honestly, it sits a little weird, not gonna lie. Let's see. Sits a little weird, not gonna lie. It's just, it like hugs the front portion of my body and I don't really like that. 
it's just a little weird to me. It's just very large in here. And then just, don't get me wrong, I love the print of it. Love the how the bag looks. I just think that this bag, they, it, they could have done it much smaller. So it just doesn't look so awkward on the body. And like this strap is just so long. This is just, it's right here. It's just all right, I guess. I mean, it's not really giving me much. And out of all the bags that I have, it sucks to say that this is probably the least exciting bag I own. So I don't really know how I feel. I'm going to sit on this one for some time, but it's looking like a hard pass for me only because it's just, it's large. It's like too big for me. And like, I know like if I start carrying a bag like this, I'm just going to carry like stupid things inside. Like things I don't even need and like I like using my bags very practically and this I hate this so like if I hold it this way eventually if I don't fill it enough it's gonna fold like that and I just don't like this oh I wasn't expecting it to be this large I wish that they did this much smaller because this is just it's weird it's weirding me out it's just so large I can feel though the craftsmanship on this bag, it looks like they took their time in really building this bag. And I love the interior. The interior just has this big pocket here. We have a smaller section here. And this is just a tag of the bag. Let me not even take it out because girl, you are going right back. You are going right back. And I'm normally not a fan of returning things, but we're talking about twenty one hundred dollars here. This is this is absolutely going back. Uh, it's just, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking because I love it, the style so much. I just think that the size of it is just such overkill. I think I'm just gonna have to part ways with her. It's tragic. All right, guys. So if you loved this review slash unboxing review of the bag and everything, please give me a comment down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting more videos frequently. I currently post one video a week. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the David S. Everything will be linked down below. Tell me your thoughts down below. Do you like the bag? Do you hate the bag? Should I keep it? I'll be in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys copped anything from the collection just yet? Other than that, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.